When the war started and America got into it, I was accredited to the Air Force. And um, I went over to England with the first of the B-17s. And, oh, I took ever so many pictures, of course. I took the crews and uh, I took the uh, pilots and B-17s. But finally, I decided that taking these uh, subjects on the ground wasn't enough. I would really have to go on a bombing mission. And I couldn't seem to get the brass to say yes. And I kept on pleading with them because I felt that I had to go on at least one combat mission, that that was the very heart of the Air Force story. When we reached North Africa, General Doolittle said, Maggie, do you still want to go on a bombing mission? And I said, oh, you know I do, but I don't want to make a pest of myself begging you people all the time. He said, well, you've been torpedoed. You might as well go through everything. And he reached for the telephone and called the 97th Bomb Group. They were stationed then in the Garden of Allah in the middle of the Sahara Desert. And he told them I had permission. It was decided that I'd photograph the actual bomb run from the waste gunner's window. I didn't know until later the boys had bets on me. If we were attacked, would I knock out the waste gunner so that I could take pictures? Or would he knock me out so he could shoot his machine gun? Margaret Burke White is a perfect example, I think, of what it took to be a great photographer. She had a very good eye. She could see a face, and just five seconds after seeing the face, she would turn to me on a story and say, find out who he is. We want him in the story. I don't know what it, why he's going to be in the story. Figure out some reason, because I want to photograph that person. She had tremendous tenacity. She this is not all good. She would take a picture over and over and over again to the point of absolute boredom, especially of me working with her, but also of the people who had to sit still for her. And at the end of one of these very trying photo sessions, uh, I asked Peggy when we had packed up the camera equipment and left, how can you ask people to go through a pose like that for as long as you do. And she said, the reason is I can always get away with it because they see how hard I'm working. And they are then willing to help me get what I want. 